Um, this is Yuhu, and uh, my topic is printer forensics, and my concentration is memory and hard drive exploit. Uh, okay. So, um, as we know, printer is frequently used in daily work, and uh, so like an office printer, we will print some sometimes it will turn personal information or print the business information. So, but the printed task may be latched after after printing until a new printer requesting. Um, so, uh, in this project, I focus on the hard drive forensics and the memory exploit. So what I did is I printed a, uh, I printed a, a sample page and uh, then I will try to steal the information from hard drive and the memory exploit. So first let me talk about the hard drive exploit because it's much easier than uh, exploit with from memory. Um, so as we know the hard drive will save the data uh, it will keep the data even we shut uh, shut down the uh the printer. So what I then so in the experiment I unplug the printer's hard drive after uh, printing, and uh, dump the uh whole disk to my la laptop with a Santa USB cable. So the command is using DD. Um, <coughs> so um. So uh, we got the dumped, uh, dumped disk, uh, which but is a raw image. It cannot be analyzed directly by AutoPSY or Sluice Kit. So we need to extract the raw image to uh, separate partitions. But here is something tricky in Mac that we have to enable the USB driver uh, because the dumped image is transferred with a center to USB cable. So uh, the command is showing uh, here. So we need these two commands. If we without these commands, we cannot extract in the raw image. So and then we split, split the raw image to like 10 partitions with the HDUTO uh, command. And it will show the here is the 10 uh, partitions. And uh, as we see here, the disk 3 S1 actually is disk, disk C, the C partition. And also the disk 3 S2 is uh, the D partition. And the others is like the, um, like the sto storage to, uh, to save the data. So uh, I wrote a Python script to analyze the 10 disks. Um, uh, which is uh, use the sluice kit. So um, it will save the all deleted and the undeleted file uh, into uh, two separate folders and also it will output a report to show all PDF file. Um, so, analysis, so then we got the analysis result for, well, by using the Python script. But we cannot find the printed sample page from the results. Even we find this, uh, if I even I find the uh, other PDF file, which like the uh, printer's test page or something else. So I made two hypotheses of the hard drive forensics. The print first one is the printed task saved uh, may be saved with the encrypted or encoded, so we cannot. Uh, using sluice key to get the print job directly. The next uh, hypothesis is the, maybe the plan documents never saved in the hard drive. For example, maybe the um, maybe the documents uh, uh, the do uh, printing is requested to the printer and the document will just save in the memory directly and never print out. So to um, Solve the hypothesis. I uh, do a lot of I did a lot of research online. So for the first one, the it, for the first one, it, we it never saved. Um, but actually, from the uh, HP manual, is the it said that this kind type of the printer saved the printed job uh, in the hard drive. 
but it used the AES-256 algorithm to encrypt it, and it will erase the temporary job files quickly. So I found the uh, the components of the encryption algorithm is actually is HP Encrypt Filter dot DLL. So it's uh, possible then we can use IDA Pro to analysis uh, to do the analysis of this file and to get and to get the decryption algorithm, but um, it's really hard to exploit printer's hard disk because it's very hard to crack the HP the encrypt filter which is wrote in the wrote by assembling language. Another thing is the dump to the hard drive be before the system erase the temporary draw files. Uh, if we uh, so if we we need to dump the hard disk before the system erase the temporary draw files. So the time is shortly and uh, um, and time is short. So, mm, I so in my opinion, it's much harder than the memory exploit. So next, we, we I like to talk about the memory exploit. As we know, the memory exploit have to be doing online because the memory, uh, each time we shut down the printer, the memory will clean itself. So uh, I use two cable connected with the mem memory to um, the printer to my um, laptop. One is the USB to center cable, which you can which can control the printer. And uh, the most important thing is you can pause it after printing the sample page, so it will keep the state of after printing the uh, previous job. The next cable is JTAG. JTAG is uh, which can dump the memory. It connected the memory directly with the center. So uh, we need a Python code for dumping with JTAG after we pause the uh, printer. So um, there's something we need to focus on is first the uh, virtual memory to um, translate to the physical memory. Actually, we connected with the operating system. The memory in you know, the operating system is actually the virtual memory. But we need to dump the all physical memory from the uh, with the JTAG, so we need to transfer the virtual memory to physical memory. So here is a uh, accurate, here is a script for me virtual memory tracking, uh, part of the script. Uh, actually, we also have like the first level of the page table and the second level uh, uh, level of page table some uh, algorithm. And this algorithm actually is the same as volatilities algorithm because volatility the address uh, in the volatility the address space algorithm um is also a request uh, virtual memory transfer to the physical memory. Okay, so then after the translating, we can write the memory to file the uh, the uh, Python code is showing like this with the connection and write and. Uh, uh, memory dumping, write, physical uh, address, and, uh, and the devotes. Devil, devil, so after the running the script, we have the two files. First is memory dump to binary, which is dump the contents are saved in this file. Uh, and the next one is the memory dump the file, which will save the address, if each, which one is failed to dump. Uh, it's fail to dump, and also it will write a printer dot rigs, which will uh, will save the memory information and includes the uh, directory table base, which is TTB address, and we will rec need this one when we we use the volatility. So um, uh, let me close my window. Okay. So <clears throat> now we have the dump the memory, so we can do some simple analysis here. The command for the uh, analysis uses strings. Uh, we will type to find the PDF file, so the keyword is PDF. And then we find like here is the six PDF file saved in the memory. But we check the each file, uh, and we, I found uh, I found is 
uh, it's incorrect. What it's not what I want. Uh, so um, it's not I what I it's not the contents no cover not on the cover page. Uh, so I did some research, and actually the PDF saved to the memory is not the PDF; it's a postscript. It's in the postscript format. So I um, use the same command, but change the keyword with the postscript. So then we find uh, players two, and uh, actually yes, this is what I want. We printed the Brenda Scissors cover page and also we can find the uh, time which is February 27, 2017 and also the like the printer which is HP LaserJet 500 color M F M551 and uh, also some uh, thing like mm, uh, where is the uh, yeah the account and also uh also the i don't know what's this yeah no but yeah so, so this is something uh, this is the status of the print job actually we found it so actually memory records the printed job but we did i didn't find the contents of the printed job because i like to steal the information from the a sample page. So I made uh, two hypotheses again. And the first is because virtual memory, uh, the translating virtual memory to the physical memory, which is not continuous. So maybe the contents is saved in a different block of the virtual memory and it will not continu continue, continue with the, uh, the title of the printed job. Uh, next one is the contents m maybe were ex uh, maybe equ equipped or encoded. So, uh, so to evaluate the uh, it's saved in the uh, located into a different physical address but without any encryption. So I searched the uh, keywords in the uh, in the printed job, but actually I found nothing. So we need. Uh, I need more clues to figure out the contents. So I did the volatility analysis, but uh, as we know that volatility can't find the contents of the printed job because it uh, find it will uh, uh, analyze the uh, running process and also some system information like hives or something else. But it may give some clue to decode the printed sample page, and if we know the decoding algorithm, we we can uh, find we can find the encoded and uh, uh, decode the contents for it. So when uh, but the volatility running the volatility, we need the profile. Actually, the operating system of the printer is Windows CE six. Uh, which is not a default profile of volatility. So I did some research how to write the profiles and uh, it's uh, it looks like we need to recall the booting status of the windows but uh, it's pretty hard so I found actually I found the code online. <laughs> and uh, <coughs> next one is uh, virtual memory to physical memory. Um, <coughs> So, um, actually, uh, with the profile, uh, if the profile file is uh, actually correct, it can the uh, volatility will can automatically get the uh, the DTP address. But um, in this case, uh, we need to use the DTP which we recorded from while uh, during the dumping. Um, so the virtual memory to physical memory algorithm actually is the same as we, what we, what I talked before, like uh, the Python script dump the memory. And the process of the printer is ARM um, Cortex A8. Uh, A8. So um, it will using volatilities ARM.py script, which is in, under the folder of the address space to do the translation. Uh, so uh, here is the uh, comments that I run the volatility 
I was a profile window C and the DTB is from the pre, uh, the dump the from the dump the rigs and uh, using the uh, VinC as well share. But here's some here's a problem that we cannot find the proper pro process. And uh, also this address is very important, which is like a flag of the uh, virtual memory to uh, translation to the uh, physical memory. So, <clears throat> um, I was stuck here for a really long time. Um, I modified the profile uh, uh, profiles uh, codes which I download from online, and also I modified the arm dot py which um, uh, which default in volatilities address space folder um, but um, they all cannot say solve the problem I also try to run the DTP uh, with the while loop and try each uh, try run the DTP like um, each 4,000 uh, bytes increase increase from zero to uh, with uh, each time is 4,000 bytes increasing but it can also cannot running uh, also can get not get the process so um, on in this Wednesday I tried I found the uh, I used like the previous dump memory which is not a uh, printed which not a printed job actually I just test the dump memory so it's without the printed job, but I found it works. Um, so, yeah, we can see the profile is here, and it's using the same DTB. So we found I found the running process from the previous dump. And so I did uh, more check, like the we, uh, I checked the nk.exe, the uh, address of the uh, nk.exe because nk.exe is like the first executable while booting the Windows system. So I check the dump file with printed job and I found that there is nothing with the uh, address. <coughs> uh, so I check the dump the file and I found that it's lost the uh, half part, first half part of the contents. Um, but it's strange that because if it's lost the uh, lost the contents, it should uh, uh, write the address in the memory dump the file. But actually, it didn't run it correctly. Uh, so, but so unfortunately, I don't have enough time to dump the memory again. So I didn't get the concrete result of the memory exploit. But for my research, the contents of the printed job. Uh, must be saving the memory, and uh, if it's not encrypted, if it's not encrypted in memory, if it should be uh, sim simply found by using the string command, as what we I did before, and uh, also maybe use try postscript or some of uh, some keywords of the contents. So in conclusion, um. The manufacturer is focused on the security of the hard drive, but uh, they, the but they didn't make a lot of thing with the memory. But uh, of course, memory dumping is hard harder than a uh, hard drive dumping because we need the memory is always um, working. We cannot shut down the printer. Um, but it's not impossible that maybe we can write a virus which will track the memory and also then we can get the uh, printed job but if I but if um, yeah but if we have this technology maybe I w would like to track the personal computer <laughs> so in the future uh, I will test a newly dumped memory uh, I think I can, I'd like to do it in the summer and to evaluate my methodology and also uh, to prove my hypothesis. So that's it. Thank you for your listening.